Hello yo, so today I'm gonna be doing a story time about how my family figured out that I was gay and all that stuff and all the mess and the drama and all of that. So if you guys wanna hear me talk about my experience coming out and all of that, then keep on watching. So let's get the video started. Itch. So, my story is a little embarrassing because my parents um, basically saw my laptop that had a whole bunch of gay porn and I didn't close the tabs. It was just like a whole bunch of tabs with gay porn, just like a whole bunch, all kinds of gay porn. And uh, the way that they saw it was because I was grounded, so they took my um, they took my laptop, and I had I didn't close it all the way, so it was still kind of like, you know, still going. So when they opened it, they just saw all the gay porn, and once I came back to the house, my dad pulled me aside, and and just like, I didn't know why I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Why is he pulling me to the side? Why is he pulling me? To my room to talk to me on my own because i mean me and my dad weren't you know you know we weren't super 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 close so um him pulling me aside just to talk or say whatever i was like what's going on so um he asked me if i was gay like just right off the bat nothing else is are you gay i'm like no, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not gay at all. Like, I'm, I'm not gay. He was like, so, if you're not gay, how come I saw all this fucking gay porn in your laptop? <laughs> that just hit me. I was like, oh my god I didn't, I didn't i didn't say anything i just stayed the whole time like they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand i couldn't say anything because i mean he saw the evidence like there was evidence that i watched a whole a whole bunch of gay porn so how can i even excuse any of that so my dad just left the room he was mad i didn't try to say anything else because he was already really mad so then my mom she's like okay let's go for a walk let's talk and i'm like please 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 i don't want to talk about this i already went through you know the hell with my dad because it wasn't the nicest thing when we were talking so can we please just like do this later i really don't want to do this i really don't want to talk right now but she was like okay let's go walk we go walking she's like are you gay i'm like no i'm not gay she's like this is not the first time that i see gay porn in any of your stuff like i saw your psp there was there wasn't necessarily gay porn, but it was bisexual, like girl on guy on guy. So um, she already knew that I was, you know, a little bit different. So she was asking me if I was, and I'm like, no, um, I'm, I don't know. Like, I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't, I'm not gay. So we just left it at that. We didn't talk much about it. She didn't try to like, you know, keep going because she already knew that I was feeling a certain type of way because my dad already confronted me about it. So we just totally like left it at that. We didn't talk about it. We didn't bring it up again. We didn't say anything about it. To me, it looked like I got in a way with that because I told them like, oh, the reason why I had so many was because uh, I was watching regular porn and then I clicked something and I just went through all of this and it's just a virus. I made some like, stupid 
excuse and me back then thought I like I thought I got away with it they believed my lie so I never heard anything about me being gay so fast forward to me graduating high school and just going to college I decided to go to Miami this um, school called MIU um, which is like a, an art school I wanted to do fashion design so that's already pretty gay but hey one of my closest friends is Kyle met him over there we were roommates together for like a year and I went through basically the gay lifestyle over there like Kyle Kyle really brought like the gay out of me if that makes sense because he was really outgoing he wanted to go out and go everywhere he wanted to club but I couldn't really go to the club back then because I was like 17 so once I turned 18 we started going to gay clubs and having fun I was fully fully gay I was you know doing my eyebrows back then they were really 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 thick back then but you know I was experimenting with it so I guess with all of that me looking gayer than ever my mom was like pretty damn sure that I was gay so by the time that I came for like I think it was either spring break or summer break she just um we were both in her bedroom and she just said are you gay I'm like I'm not sure she's like Raphael, you are gay. Like, there's no way at this point you being this old, you don't know. Like, you know. You're gay. Stop. Like, just stop. You're gay. And I'm like, okay, I'm gay. So, kept going on with my life. Um, since I have, like, you know, I'm friends with some of my sister's friends. Well, we know each other. We have each other in social medias and Snapchat and stuff. So they see my pictures and all of that. And they'll be asking me if I'm gay. Because, you know, I was pretty gay looking. I had my thick ass eyebrows. I was looking cute with the um, flower crown um, filter back um, when Snapchat was popping. Um, they were asking my sister if I was gay and she didn't know. So she kept asking my mom if I was gay and my mom would tell her, like, ask him, just ask him, I don't know. So my mom told me to tell her because she has been asking and I should let her know. So um, awkwardly, I went to her room and she stopped whatever she was doing and I just said, so. So I'm gay, so yeah. And that was the most awkward thing. And I hate, I hate, hate, hate. Awkward moments. So um, it was just, <laughs> oh my God, I just cringe thinking about it. Like it was so freaking awkward, so. I just wanted to get out of her room because awkward moments just I don't care for them so I just wanted to get out but she told me to like stay there we started talking about my life and whatever and all of that so we good so my mom and my sister were good um then um oh, I never came out to my dad somebody told him yeah it wasn't the best thing because i didn't actually came out to him somebody in my dad's family told him and uh it wasn't the best because he was like texting me some stuff so i don't know that happened before or after i came out to my little brother but that happened it wasn't nice because my dad is really really religious so he was just texting me about you know that you're gonna go to hell um please repent this and that um sending me um, um videos about people that said oh i used to be gay i used to you know do this and that but then i saw the light and 
Jesus changed my life, so now I'm straight, oh, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So, I just tuned that right out, just... No, I don't know if, that's, if this happened before or after I came out to my brother, but the most kind of like fucked up um, coming out was with my brother. It wasn't really messed up, but it wasn't nice. And I can see that now, but back then I was really nervous. But basically what had happened was, um, I'm Dominican. If you didn't know, now you know. So I was raised in Dominican Republic. I had been, you know, educated and all of that in Dominican schools and all that. So, um, I had certain people that I was following in social media, like Facebook and Instagram, that were, you know, my classmates back then in Dominican Republic. So, I thought that we followed each other and all of that. And uh, at some point, I just saw that people just unfollowed me and I didn't even. Like, I was still following them, but I didn't notice that they had unfollowed me. So, that kind of, like, triggered me. It got me really, really mad because I thought that, like, even though some of the people that I followed weren't, you know, the best thing ever because they were still, like, you know, horrible people. I'm going to talk about all of that. The Dominican situation and being gay another time. But it was, like... I knew them, we were childhood um, classmates, we had, you know, each other back then, like, you know, like, we just knew each other, so I had assumed that, like, you know, since all of them kept in touch with each other, that they would keep in touch with me, even though I had already left, but um, that was just me being trying to, you know, be positive, so they hadn't followed me. I was mad so I just wanted to like you know just basically say to everybody fuck off I'm gay if you don't care for gay people then just don't follow me like just get the fuck out of my life um, I wanted to say that through all my social media so like if anybody didn't care for that then just get the fuck out so I wanted to do that but I first I had to you know come out to my brother because it's it'll be fucked up if he finds out that I'm gay through social media. So I just texted him, hey, by the way, I'm gay. That was it. I just texted him, I'm gay. That's it. We were both in the house, but I still couldn't go to his room and tell him. Plus, when I came out to my sister, it was awkward. So I just didn't feel like going to his room and talking to him and all of that. So I just texted him, I'm gay. He came to my room knocked on my door because i always lock my room for anything so he was like let's talk let's talk and i'm like no i don't feel like talking i don't want to talk right now i don't want to talk about this so you know he was like let's talk and i'm like no and he just gave up and was like whatever fuck it went back to his room to play his video games and all of that so that's how i came out to him it's funny now looking back at it and it's kind of fucked up but you know i just was too scared to came to come out to him so then after that i posted in my stories and facebook like i'm gay if you don't want to follow me then get the fuck out just don't follow me fuck that shit if you don't care for gay people then get out get out get out so um basically um i came out to everybody and said fuck it um, so I've been gay as fuck ever since. Um, hopefully you guys like this video. Um, gonna, you know, do more story times if you guys like it. Um, give me some, you know, um, suggestions. Give me some suggestions on what you want next, you know. Just like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good shit. Um. So I like I can keep this channel growing. So see you guys next time and yeah. Bye.